I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Don't make me do that again. Well, I guess there's another architect in Elevin, isn't there? Ooh. Make sure Fumiyoku keeps to himself. We Pathfinder, Ooh. my scouts told me about your run-in with the architect. I lost good people to that thing. Drill technicians who went there on an expedition. It's not easy losing people under your command. It's my fault. I shouldn't have let them search that far out. I failed them. At least I know the rest of my people are safe, thanks to you. I tracked down your missing drill techs. They didn't make it. I'll send a team out to recover the bodies. They deserve a proper burial. And Pathfinder, thank you. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. You are more than welcome. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. But I got no choice. Back online. Lots of consoles. If the cat maintain logs, we may be able to access them from here. Once we are in, I can perform a search to locate relevant data. This is a cat defense matrix. Destroying it will disable all sentry turrets and unlock access to the secure storage structure. This is a critical subsystem. Sabotaging three of these will disable the defense matrix. This is critical subsystem for the operation of the cat defense. The cat's redundant backup systems ensure that at least three substances must be disabled before the defense matrix can be defense matrix can be shut down. More of them are coming again. The ambient temperature is normal. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. The ambient temperature is normal. Yeah. Brody's reach got an upgrade. Life support at 100 percent Whoa. That's not good. Are we done? Disable the security matrix. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support. The defense matrix has been destroyed. The secure storage structure is now one. unlocked. All right. Let's see what the cat will order. Where is the secure storage structure? The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Be nice if I knew where the secure storage structure is. I wonder if there's more in the room below.
Maybe this is the secure storage structure. There seems to be a lot of secure storage items in here. Sam has located logs associated with the start of the Ket invasion. Translated from Tonizet, entry 5EOMT1CN. Specialists identified an isolated station on a mineral-rich lunar world as initial target. Routine attack, element of surprise, no major threats. Majority were easily eliminated, providing genetic material for study. Live specimens were also acquired as a result of an unexpected surrender. Entry 8Y0938CQ7. Captured and Gara proved useful. Cooperation secured in exchange for keeping them alive. Obtained live blood samples with no resistance. Volunteer demonstration of bioenergetic field. Applications identified them as prime candidates. Mention of the center of their civilization. Aya, location, hidden in the scourge. No maps exist. Route, learned through experience. Interrogation ongoing. Once complete, recommend transfer to home empire as vassals. Logs on Angara, oh, first contact, isolated Pathfinder. Wow. Wow. It sounds like some of the first Angara the cat found were coerced into working with them. Mm -hmm. We should show this to Ari Vezjek. <laughs> yeah, that's that's troublesome. So they basically tricked them. Under and so yeah, I mean we knew that they tricked them, and that's why they were distrusting of us because we too seem to that's be genuine. To my map. You already knew that, Scott. Scott, did I just call Skyler Scott? Sorry, Sky Skyler. How dare I? That was... that's insulting. Male writer was what I was thinking. Scott was what ended up coming out of my mouth. Sorry. I've entered the destruction of the cat on Vold into my records, so we remember. But did you find anything of note in the cat databases? Anything about the start of their invasion? Yeah. This might be of interest. This... this can't be right. It says Samangara volunteered information to the cat. Well, they trusted them. Is this them. how they found out about our abilities? Could this be why they exalt us? Can you blame them? In a fight for survival, ideals are often set aside. I'd like to think I would never fall that far. We're all heroes until called to prove it. I can't include this in our history, Rider. We can't be remembered like this. But it's what happened. The conflict with the cats will continue for years. We need hope, not crushing truths. Yeah, but in this case, truth is a little more important. You can't though. just act like this never happened or make up some other story. Pathfinder, that's all history is. Fact and conjecture blended to form a narrative. Yeah, I understand How does that. the narrative that the Angara are perfect serve your purpose? Right. I, I thought it would keep morale from flagging. But perhaps we need to understand our own frailty. Yeah, we Thank do. Thank you, Ryder. You've given me much to think about. Now I must get to work. I feel like the truth in, that's, in that instance is more important. I think so, at least. Okay. The Last Scout. Return to Hannah with updates. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. I'm reading a normal temperature range. Pathfinder. Life support at 100%. I can see that. Feeling kind of honored we get to see you click some target. Continue on, Ebb Don't mind me. Michelle just called in. Annex sent a squad to retrieve her. She seemed troubled. But I suppose being trapped in rubble will do that. I'm so happy she's still alive. Skies be bright for you, Ryder. You're most welcome. 
even though she didn't really want to be, even though she didn't want to leave. But we enticed her. Uh, so apparently, after you've helped Tej fight the cat, you have to talk to him, but the map marker doesn't remain on the screen, unfortunately. I can't do this. Taking this station is impossible. Are you Tej? Whoa! Didn't see you there. Yeah. I'm Tej. How did you find me? Uh, had to look you up, Wait. apparently. Kolf and the others, right? Stars. Don't tell them you found me like this. I wasn't expecting all this security, and the longer I sit here, the more I doubt everything. You're just being rational, seeing the reality of what you're doing here. Doubt and a shrinking heart prevents a blessed rebirth. And you won't remember your life before. And if you forget, you're just like everyone else. And it would have been better not to die at all. Such a revelation. See, the more I think, the worse the thoughts get. I've got some experience with Ket. I can help with this, if that would... help. Would you? I think with all of us, we might actually take down this station. Live or die. Okay. All right, well, we're going... We're following him this way, okay. Apparently that wasn't the station we were supposed to help him fight in. This is the station we're helping him fight. Still alive! And honestly, I'm glad. Living. And learning is a good way to grow Well, that was anticlimactic. And I've never met anyone who had a blessed rebirth. And what if it's not real? Stars. If my friends heard this talk, they'd turn their backs. Vince especially. Oh, I'm almost afraid to go back. Talk to them. Explain where you're coming from. I'm sure they've had similar thoughts. You really think so? When I heard about Tand and Aaron dying, Tried to be happy, but I just couldn't. I don't want to lose the rest of my friends either. And if I feel that way, maybe they do too. Worth asking. Thanks, Pathfinder. You've given me a lot to think about. I I'll see what Kolf and the others have to say. Alright, well I helped you fight the cat. And you didn't really get to see much of it, but I did, apparently. I already emptied this 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 whole thing out. Okay, dokie. So we are systematically clearing out all of these things. So there's defeat the architect in Kadara. There's stuff on the Apex on investigate the space attacks on Nexus. I investigated two two out of four. Um, something personal, Elodin, search for Le Lechda, architect on Elodin. I, uh, there's a whole bunch of things. Investigate the second satellite, missing satellite point. Let's go back. Let's, let's leave. Oh, 
here, Sabang. Let's go there first before we go to Aya. This system looks mostly unexplored. Yeah, it's at zero percent. It once, then the scourge happened. What's old is new. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. Getting a scan. Nice. Look at all that. Element zero. Element Zero. This deposit of Element Zero appears to have originated with the destruction of a large starship, though this is difficult to confirm. 27 Element Zero. That's a huge starship to make that large of a blast that you can see from that far away in the galaxy. Or that far away from the system. I'm picking up something. Pass 15. Orbital distance 15.7 AU. Orbital period 11.11.4.1 years. Radius 5751 kilometers. Atmospheric pressure 32.05 atmospheres. Surface temperature negative 270 C. Seas of liquid helium cover the strange world, reliably boiling whenever the temperature rises. Probe away. Getting a scan. Ice sheet. Surface area 30 million kilometers. Composition 84% helium. Status stable. Helium freezes only at incredibly low temperatures and under severe pressure. In certain rare and intriguing circumstances, Pass 15 provides both. I'm picking up something. Probes launched. I found something. Garden satellite nav point. You're sure that astronomers' nav points are correct? He seemed to think so. There's nothing out here. The scourge, though. The scourge didn't swallow a satellite whole. You can't do that, right? I'll let you know. Let's check other nav points. Satellite ID not ap not applicable. Power ratings not applicable. System report not applicable. Status not a not available. This nav point does not contain an Ingarn satellite, but there are trace radioactive particles consistent with those produced by small starship's engine thrusters. Research data. Investigate the third missing satellite nav point. Pass 13. Orbital distance 3.4 AU. Orbital period 11.5 years. Radius 5101 kilometers. Atmospheric pressure 42.87 atmospheres. Surface temperature negative 30 C. Wild plant growth flourishes on Pass 13 beneath thick surface ice. Only its crushing atmosphere makes Pass 13 inappropriate for mining frozen water. I'm picking up something. Pass 33, orbital distance 0.8 AU, orbital period 1.2 years, radius 25062 kilometers, atmospheric pressure 1.87 atmospheres. This unusually small and unusually tranquil gas giant was unknown until recently. Whenever it sim whether it simply went undiscovered or was wildly changed by the scourge is unclear. Probes launched. Satellite detected. Satellite ID Nexus 0924F, power readings 55.3%, system report data banks prepped for download, status operational. One of many satellites distributed by scouts from the Nexus, this unmanned station has been diligently studying the unusual features of Pass 33. And the last one, Gestir. Orbital distance 0.1 AU, orbital period 0.1 years, radius 4102 kilometers, atmospheric pressure 1.76 atmospheres, surface temperature 255C. Named by the Angara for a word meaning roughly tranquil stone plain, Gestir was reduced to a world of lava and electrical storms with the power of the scourge. Okay.
Where is the safe journey? It's here in Joba. Sometimes I forget how small we are. We are microscopically tiny compared to the rest of the galaxy. I'm picking up something. Right here. Probe away. Anomaly found. Calm buoy. Let me guess. No Ingarn satellite? No, but I've got something else. Message buoy from an Ingarn ship. Buoy. They came here looking and didn't find anything either. Left a marker for us. I really like how. Must be the team our astronomer sent. They headed to a new nav point. We should join the party. I like how how um, Subi says buoy. Buoy ID Dehina one power ratings ninety eight point two percent. This is fresh. System report unit can broadcast another eight standard months. Status broadcasting data in Shalesh. This combo is set for extremely short range transmission. Likely as a security precaution, only a vessel searching at precise nav point can detect the message. Helios research data. Anomaly detected. Oh. And never mind, I went there instead. Joba. Orbital distance 2.3 AU, orbital period 3.8 years, radius 6077 kilometers, atmospheric pressure 4.082 atmosphere, surface temperature 7C. Primitive ocean life thrives on this world, but ubiquitous maelstroms constantly batter the surface. If colonization is possible, it'll be a long and difficult task. I'm picking up something. Probes launched. Getting a scan. Ship wreckage. Scanning for radiation signature. Ship identify identification Nexus 3007. Ship name Charis. Crew complement 5 to 8. Status destroyed. The Charis was a transport shuttle with a full cargo of supplies, according to the ship's final transmission. It lost its way after an unexplained interference resulted in navigational failure. Damage on parts of the ship's hull suggests that it came into contact with a hostile force shortly after losing contact with the Nexus. Now, okay, a whole bunch of things. Tarosh. Orbital distance 2.8 AU, orbital period 5.2 years, radius 3281 kilometers, atmospheric pressure 23.52 atmospheres, surface temperature 88 C. Tarosh is an Angaran term meaning roughly cruel joke. There may be valuable minerals in the mountains, but massive electrical storms and punishing atmospheric pressure keep them locked away. I have four. Orbital distance 1.5 AU, orbital period 2.1 years, radius 45804 kilometers, atmospheric pressure 0.88 atmospheres. Ehafor's non standard orbit appears to be a natural phenomenon unrelated to the scourge. Our analysis suggests the orbit has been stable for a minimum of several hundred billion years. Last but not least, actually we've got the Tafo. Orbital distance 60.4 AU, orbital period 66.5 years, radius 80, 80 60 kilometers, atmospheric pressure 0.11 atmosphere, surface temperature negative 182 C. On the outer edge of the Joba system, the lifeless world of Le Tafo creeps a few inches closer to the great black hole every year. Far in the future, it will be consumed. Wow. Okay. We're joining the party here. Safe journeys, Ericsson, which have already filled, explored to 100%, so that's good. Anomaly 
Anomaly on sensors. Right there. Deploying probe. Saw it immediately. Anomaly found. That wasn't there last time I was here. I would have seen it. Oh, there it is. A starship. Stand by. I'm cutting through heavy interference from the Scourge. We are pretty close for comfort. Something's drifting just inside. And Garn's ship. In pieces. No life signs. Who did this? Ket? I found the ship's log. Scanning and downloading. Scavengers. The Angara caught them stealing satellites. The Scavs fought back. And the Angara collided with the Scourge. Mm. Can we find the Scavengers? I have their ship's transponder ID. It's registered out of Kadara port. Okay, we'll go into Kadara then. Ship identified, Von Aaron, 235. Ship name, Ange Alesh. Crew complement 6. Status not available. This Angaran survey vessel suffered catastrophic damage during a high-speed collision with the Scourge. Most wreckage remains trapped inside the anomaly. Alright, we're going to travel to Kadara port. Alright, we're going all the way over here, jumping all over the place. Those are mine. Turn my back for one second. Need something? I was told you could help me find an Angara named Lieta. Lieta. No can do. But why not? I was generously compensated to keep my mouth shut. I'm a man of my word. Oh really? I'm sure you understand. Why would she pay you to cover her trail? Not my job to ask questions. She wouldn't have told me anyway. We weren't exactly friends, but she treated me like a stranger the day she left. I shouldn't be telling you this. Pretend I didn't say anything. Hey, I'm a good friend to have. You help me, and I'll help you. Go on. I can bend Sloane's ear. That's worth more than credits. Sold. I can't tell you where she went. I can't stop you from taking a peek at my dock records either. Mm. Especially if you knew the passcode is 1837. And, and now the woman in front of you Got knows it. that too. Thanks. Really? I don't know what you mean. That woman now can get through there too. Thanks for your time. <sighs> Back to work. Wow. People and their passwords. Terrible. Oh, this annoying <laughs> slow door. Oh, it's, it was out here. It was out here the entire time. This game is trolling me, so I have to go through this slow door again. What is it with this specific door? Sheesh. Y'all, the records say Lieta went to Aya for recovery. She was injured. It must have been bad if she was sent to Aya. What happened on Eladin? There's a resistance med center on Aya. That's where we'll find answers. Okay. Ryder. Hi. To the Tempest. To the Tempest. Well, we're actually now going to be doing other things here. Like return this no not an eye on Kadara. La there's a whole bunch of things like Vetronix, a moment planet side. Look at the source of the signal in Eos. I have to go back to Eos again. Speak to Havejar. I have to. I'm going to a lot of places. I have to go to a lot of places. Back and forth. Back and forth. Um, go with Vetra to the Sulphur Springs on Kadara. To the slums. I need to bring Vetra with me. Because why not? Come along, Vetra. And... Quora. Ladies night out. 